Hello, welcome to my channel. <laughs> See you again. In this video, I'm going to continue on strings. Okay, and this video, uh, I'm going to show you about special characters. Not all of them, just uh, some of them. Okay. So when we define string, we can have special characters. And uh, here I list some of them. The first one is if we want to have a new line, you can, when uh, last video I talked about a temperate literal, right? We can do is uh, temperate literal, uh, we, we are preserve kind of like uh, the new lines for us, okay, the format for us. And uh, if we want to using the single quote, excuse me, if we want to use a single quote or double quotes, and if we want to have new lines, then you can use the backslash n. Okay, and this one I use not pretty often. It's uh, in Windows text file. If you want to have a, a new line, you have to use the backslash r and backslash n represent a new break. But nowadays, if you just use backslash n. Uh, most of Windows software still understand like uh, backslash n is what is a uh, new black, new line okay and for the quotes because uh, when we define string like a uh, let s r s t r we will we can use single quote to find a string like a hello okay we can also use double quote to define a string hello. But sometimes inside this string, we want to have a quotes like a, like a I am miss X I N G. If my string is like this way, if I use a single quote, then it, it will have problem. So in this case, you can either use the, the backslash with a single quote, which you can like escape, or you can change this one to be double quotes. Let me show you this one. Okay. Uh, I let me show you this one inside uh, the. <laughs> I was doing something, and here I will have one file called uh, string special s p e c i special characters. Okay, and here I have HTML five. Okay, and now. If I want to have a script, okay, and suppose a uh, first one, let me show you the uh, new break, okay, so a new line, okay, let uh, const str1 equals, suppose I want to have new line, either way you can do is like using this way, uh, this, yes, a uh, new line with a template literal okay you can do like uh, this way okay uh let me oh let me see okay oh probably not yeah i'm probably made a mistake here let's see uh i'm gonna note okay we will go to uh, default browser and uh, i will put it here and then we open it oh Oh my God! I was I was thinking, <laughs> uh, my 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 thought is wrong. So you can see here we have three lines, and here we have one, two, three, three lines. Okay, this is one way. And suppose we want to use, uh, uh what's the use the quotes? No matter single quote or double quote. And if you want to uh, have uh, new lines, you have you cannot do like this way. I love. Uh, uh, B A N A N A. You, if you do like this, you're gonna have problem because it it cannot recognize it. Okay, and the one way you probably think I can do like this way. This just make you have a. This is entire string definition, but you don't get a new line. Okay, let's take a look at it here. You want to get a new line? Let's take a look at. It. You can see I love banana. Okay, it's not a new line. Because you just do a string concatenation here. So if we want to have a new uh, new uh, new line, we can do is I love b uh, like a backslash n b a n a n a a backslash n another line. Okay, apple uh, and back 
slash and uh, uh, any fruit. How about like this way? Any fruit, okay? And we have a semicolon, and then when refresh, you have multiple lines being here. Okay, those see, this is the second way. And if we're using double quotes, it's the same. Okay, next one we are going to talk about is what? Oh, this one. Uh, the quotes. What that means is like uh, here. Suppose I have a string three. Okay, and here what I want to do is uh, like uh, I want to define this string. Um, miss x i n g. Okay, and which means in that inside this string, I have a uh, quotes. Okay, if I do like this way, gonna have a syntax error, right? Because this uh, we think is a closing uh, quote of this opening quote, so remaining doesn't match the syntax. Okay, so what one way you can do is backslash. Okay, and we can print it. This is one way. Uh, And you will see the code being printed here. The other way is uh, because you are using single code here. So what we will do is what we just add a double quote using double quotes because double quote, single quote, are both available to define what thing. Define a string, right? And see here, if I use double a single quote, you can double quote on the entire string so you won't have any error okay and uh, if i have uh, another quote which is uh, suppose i want to use double quote inside a string then you can use a single quote okay uh, here is a double quote example you can do like this way suppose i have a uh, double quotes okay Quote. Okay. Uh, let let me do like uh, this way. For this double quote, I add a quote here. Suppose you want to use double quote. This is one way. Okay. The other way is uh, suppose here in a double quote here you want to have another double quote. Then you can do is like this way. Double quote to escape it. Okay. Quotes like this. Okay. And uh, we can do is five five. Okay, now we can go back to the browser and you can see here, here have a double quotes and here have double quotes here. Okay, that's uh, how either way you like. Mostly I, will, I, I use like this way. If I want to have a single quote in, uh, in the string, then I will use double quotes. If I want to have a double quotes in a string, I will use single quote. But most of the time I will use single quote. Okay. Uh, that's your choice. Anyway, if you do do the way you like, okay. This one is also uh, kind of like uh, to escape backslash. Suppose I want to have a backslash in the string. Okay, let's take a look at str five six. Okay, if I want to have a backslash in the string, if I do like this way, and you're gonna have error because syntax error because backslash kind of like. Uh, is used for special characters. You can see those special characters are all started with a backslash. And we were thinking, uh, JavaScript is thinking, we're thinking this one is uh, for escape this uh, single quote. So it's have errors, okay? If we want to display the backslash, you need to escape this one too, okay? Uh, backslash, example, okay? Two. And now we can str6 and let's open the browser to see it. And here you will have a backslash here. That is for this one. And this one is for the tab and others you take a look at by yourself, okay? And there are several others. One is this one, backslash x, and you have two um, hexadecimal Unicode xx. And this XS, uh, the two XS is from 00, 0 to FF, which means they are represented characters too. Okay, now let's take a look at here. Suppose you have a const str7, okay? And you can use um, backslash X, and the value is from 00, 0 okay, to 
two backslash x ff that's all the things you can represent by them which means the two xx is gonna be the value from zero zero to ff uh, which are using um what's the thing called hexadecimal okay hexadecimal unicode um, if i remember correctly it's gonna represent the things as ascii can represent okay let's take a look at what's gonna be printed for these two str7 take a look at i don't remember okay oh this one oh oh, oh, oh it, it uh, stink has one now okay uh let me have only one first okay. oh zero doesn't have any value uh then ff um, probably ff is that one okay ff is this one so let's do another backslash what do we use here uh seven eight okay i uh, i think the zero zero is probably empty string like uh, x zero one okay let's take a look at it okay yeah all the they don't have any character represented okay x seven eight seven eight okay like this then this one should be z a z and the y have two dots there okay so it's not a only represent the ascii it will also represent some other values uh, let's uh, x6 okay, let's see what's the value represented by here anyway if you need to use just use them okay oh this one is j uh i think it's from uh six uh six six four is it a something like that let's see okay i couldn't remember Oh, D. Uh, 6, 2. 6, 1, 6, 2. Oh, B. 6, 1. Okay. So 6, 1 is A, and 6, 2, 2 is 6, 1 is A. Okay. Lowercase A, and 62 is B. And then it's going to continue to Z. 7, A. C, A, B, J. Okay. Uh, that, that's this one. Okay. Uh, you, if you need to just uh, search for it, I, I also don't remember. Okay, so that's one. And there are other ways to represent because uh, if we here we only have two digit, okay, so it cannot represent everything. And we have some special characters like uh, here is a copyright. Then you cannot using this uh, syntax to represent it. So we have another syntax is a backslash u, uh, u which is gonna have uh, uh, more. Uh, more characters can be represented using this syntax okay so we will take a look at uh, this one and be be sure when we're using this one it still is a hex code which is from each character is from z, uh, zero to nine and plus a to f and you have to must use exactly four digit okay uh, let's take a look at uh, what is that one used here copyright Copyright is uh, 00A9, okay? Uh, you, there's uh, one uh, website called unicore.com or unicore.organization. Uh, you can search all the unicode represented by each character, okay? 00A9, okay? Let's take a look at this one. STR8. Mm -hmm. And now let's refresh oh oh, eh? oh that's you okay you okay forgot about you and see here this is a copyright and you can search i remember it's uni you uni code.com or some oh, dot org this one okay and if you want to find the characters use unicode to represent it you can take a look at it here it has all the characters and it add uh, every year it's gonna add a new one like uh, in this one to add some new ones okay and there's another one which comes uh which is this one have a breast and between the breast you can have one two six characters because if we're using directly dash u you must give exactly four uh digit okay and this syntax is uh, uh, a Unicode symbol with a given UTF-32 encoding. 
And uh, this one is talking about this one is added if I remember correctly is ES6 uh, added for this one. There's a problem is some of the characters, real characters like emoji icon, like emoji icon, like a smile, a smile face, that one. And uh, they can they are in, encoded with a two Unicode symbol, which is a two of them. That is one that, that is called a surrogate pair. And uh, which gonna have problem because when you're using length, okay, should I use one or should I give two, right? And after that, this one can solve the problem. You can only get, you can just using one. You don't need to use a surrogate pair to represent those rare characters. We can directly using this one, okay? And the one example uh, here I have is this one, okay? This is uh, this is smiling face, okay? One F six zero and D, okay? Let's try one, okay? Oh, this one is uh, the thing, okay? And uh, the syntax is str9, okay? Is uh, use dot backslash u, and you give a brace. And uh, you can have zero to six digit here. Zero to six, right? Yeah, let me check, okay? Uh, yes, one, two, six, okay. Oh, sorry, not a zero, one, two, six, okay? And I will just copy this one, okay? Uh, because I don't remember others. If you want, you can search for this website and to take a look at your the characters, real characters you want to use. Okay, I'll give this one and now let's print. Okay, uh, str9. Okay, and let's check it. Here you have a oh, love face. Okay, let's we can have one change it and see what's going to happen. Oh, this one is cool. See, those are emoji icons. Okay, if you want to use this one, you have to have two, two, two of them. Okay, I don't remember. Okay, I just tap, try to see. Oh, this is two. Okay, because this one is one and this one and the fourth smiling face. If you want to search, you can you can search by yourself. Okay, you you must use a two Unicode like this way to represent. But uh, after we have this syntax, you can only use one to solve the pro some problems. Like uh, if we're using uh, two Unicode set to represent one character, what's the length of the string? Okay. Uh, anyway, okay. Uh, if you are interested, probably you can take a look at it, go deep by yourself. And uh, I just briefly introduce uh, those special characters inside the uh, JavaScript. Okay. Uh, that's it for this uh, video and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.